So I grew up on a military base, Trenton, Ontario, Air, Air Transport Command. And I learned a particular version of Canada at school on that military base about our role in the world. At home, I experienced a turbulent upbringing. My father was frequently in the hospital. He had been a World War II veteran, and he was a Korean War veteran. He was a prisoner of war, and he was tortured. And my mother, she worked at the Battawa Shoe Factory, trying to make ends meet, which meant, and so I had to look after my sister when I came home from school. She was six years younger than me, born in Germany. We lived in France for a while. I had an unlimited amount of unsupervised time and an unlimited amount of responsibility. I had some joyous teenage years and I acted out in the schoolyard, and fought in the schoolyard and acted out in the class to gain the attention I craved at home. I only learned later on in life that others grew up with. As a teenager, I left home, came to the big city of Toronto. But for a youngster, for a teenager, those big city lights, for someone looking for attention, it was very appealing. And I had the most interesting life. I had a sense of immortality. And then, for the last 20 years, when I became housed, and I, became, I got into recovery. I have been fortunate enough to become a community leader and to be part of a legislative process that has changed the lives of an entire young generation of trans people in Canada. And I'm very proud of that. Just recently, uh, May, May 16th, 17th, uh, which actually is the day that the person who's going to follow me here who's running for city council relisted sex reassignment surgery and that uh, was 2008. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm here tonight with you, George, and team. But last International Day Against Homophobia and Transphobia and Biphobia was awarded the key to the city for my work by the mayor. And, uh, well, and he turned to me and he said, Susan, I know you've had it hard. Which really reminds me of the Nietzsche quote, that which does not kill us makes us stronger. Now, why am I here tonight? I'm running to be your Toronto School Board trustee in the mega ward, actually, of University Rosedale and Toronto Centre. I want to be elected to protect our students, protect our parents, and protect our teachers, to defend the public school system, and to fight against provincial cuts. And the reason we're running for this we're all in this So with your support tonight, a few votes, a few dollars, uh, we'll be able to take on uh, the competition, get elected on October 22nd, and it's an honor to be here with you. I look forward to meeting and talking to you each a little bit more after the formal part of the evening. Just thanks for being here. Thank you.